Have you heard of the Sun Dune Cave? You might want to check this out. Quang Binh Province, Vietnam, 1991. Longer Hokan discovers a mysterious entrance to a hidden mountain cave obscured by dense jungle overgrowth. The cliffs leading down to the entrance are so steep he cannot explore it further, but he notes its location. Nearly two decades later, the British Cave Research Association finally explores the cave. What the team discovers is astounding. It is the largest underground chamber on the planet. It's not just a cave. It's an actual world in Vietnam. Inside this cave, it's 40 stories high. There's actually an ancient forest. It's got flowing water, not just a puddle or a stream, but an actual river. And it's so deep that it looks like it's an entrance to a whole other reality. This incredible subterranean realm, called the Song Dung Cave, is estimated to be roughly three million years old. It runs through the earth for nearly six miles, and numerous areas where the cave ceiling has collapsed allow sunlight to enter, resulting in the growth of trees and other vegetation. But according to area residents, what's most notable about Song Dung Cave are the strange creatures that are believed to dwell within it. Local residents describe seeing reptilian type humanoid beings emerging from the Song Dong cave and they believe that they actually lived deep inside this cave. What's fascinating about this is that these reptilian type humanoid beings are similar to the seraphim or the winged serpents in Kabbalistic tradition. The seraphim are said to have gone and lived in the inner earth according to Kabbalistic teaching. Is it possible that reports of reptilians at Sondung Cave are encounters with beings from inner earth. While it may sound too incredible to be true, there have been reports that during the Vietnam War in the 1970s, US soldiers encountered what they described as upright lizards inhabiting caves. And accounts of reptilian beings existing in underground caverns can be found all across the globe even on the other side of the world, in Cusco, Peru. Throughout Peru and around Cusco particularly, there are many, many stories of a tunnel system that has something to do with serpent deities, which they call the Amaru there. The Peruvian authorities themselves decided it was too dangerous for people to go into these tunnels. So they looked for all of the entrances they could around Cusco, and they sealed them up. And this is a well-known story within Peruvian history. While there have been many reports from around the world of human-like reptilians, there is another inner earth entity described in the Zohar that is even more commonly witnessed in modern times. According to Zoharic literature, there are beings inside the earth having large black eyes and a nose that leaves only two dark holes on the face. Now that corresponds to things that we've seen about, heard about these, uh, for lack of a better word, ETs. There is a lot of evidence that these beings that we think are coming from another planet are not coming from another planet. They're coming from inside our own earth. The black-eyed entities, commonly referred to as greys by ufologists, are the beings most often reported by alleged alien abductees, many of whom claim to have been taken aboard saucer-shaped craft. Could it be that the so-called flying saucers, so often reported in modern times, are not coming from outer space, but inner Earth? According to some ancient astronaut theorists, this notion is supported by numerous accounts of UFOs that are seen disappearing into the landscape and sometimes even flying directly into mountains.